Hello there everybody, my name is Ingus and today I will be showing you how you can make your desktop look better than before. So you get like icons, dragging them around, customizing them, yeah you can do whatever you want. So let's just get started with this tutorial. First you can go to Chrome or your web browser and you press download in the links below I will put the honeycomb and the authentic theme in the description. So you can press download and then press download. Once you're done downloading both of them, you can launch them up. Both are the same but they just have like a different banner on the top. And you can press install. I've already installed it so I don't need to do that. Once you are done, you can go into Rain meter and download Rain meter as well. So, you can see here. You can just download the beta or the final version. So, once you're done downloading it, you can launch it, set it up, and you're good to go. So, now you want to right click on any of your themes. So, you probably start up with like a transparent black box with a bunch of like time just the simplest theme so you can just right click it manage skin and you should see something like this so first you are going to honeycomb click that and you can launch any of these these are pre-made icons just for you so you can do this and then load it in and it should load in like that and so sometimes it won't work if you press it that's because you didn't set it up yet so to set it up you just go into your file explorer and then you go to documents rain meter skins honeycomb find chrome there's chrome and then you open it with notepad so open with notepad and you should see this what you want to do so it should just say chrome.exe so what you want to do is go to your chrome file so my chrome file is in here see and then you want to prop go to properties and then you'll see target and this is where you what you want to do go here and then that copy this and then put in this box and then paste what that's gonna do is let you open up chrome with that icon so let's try it out. As you can see, you can open it. But if it, that, that doesn't work, it's probably because you didn't refresh it. So you can just press refresh all and then it should work. And if you want to do like a custom icon, just like this, or maybe this, or this, or this, then that's actually pretty easy. So let's get something out so hmm. let's see what should we get um maybe camtasia so what we can do is find the icon so we can just do camtasia honeycomb images and you should see here look at that so I'll just save this image and set up here. I'm just gonna name it Camtasia. Just like that. So once you're done downloading that image, we can go into File Explorer. And then we can go to Documents, Rain Reader, Skins, Honeycomb. And you can choose any of these. I'm gonna use Chrome. And then what you want to do is you want to copy it and then 
paste it. So now you got a copy. You want to rename it and rename it to your picture. So that will be Camtasia. And you can do that. You go down here. Rename this as well to Camtasia. Or whatever the picture of your name was. Go in. And then you got all of this. So I'm going to go into Camtasia right now. So documents programs so you can right click it properties and you can see here target copy this put it in here and paste and then over here it's gonna say name put the name of your program you want author just put the same thing and the image name so mine is camtasia.png and it should be good to go so you can press save okay and you should refresh all before you do this and then you're gonna go to honeycomb go down and you can see camtasia here so you can do that load it in and look at that, you got Camtasia. You just put it somewhere like here. Yeah, just put it there and you can put this here. There you go. And to show you that it works, let me just press on it. So yeah, it works, and it's all good. Maybe you also want the time and this. So what you want to do is open up the authentic theme as well. Go to clock. Choose either the 12 or 24 hour clock. So let's use the 24 hour clock, and then it's going to be here. And yeah. I'm going to the weather and you can load it now maybe it will just say London for you well to change that you can go into settings and you can load it in and you can see this and then you're gonna enter your location code to find your code you can just go to this and then let's say I'm in Surrey so I'll just write in Surrey and you see all this I live in here so you can just, just copy this paste it in here and you're good to go and you can choose like Fahrenheit Celsius I use Celsius and you can like refresh it see if it works once it does, you can delete the settings because I don't really like it. You can choose. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please press that like button below. Also press the subscribe button as well. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.